The verdict is in and the jury has spoken. After days of hearing testimony and seeing evidence in the Alicia Lampy versus the people, the jury found her not guilty of manslaughter in the second degree and not guilty of leaving the scene of a fatal accident. They're very upset. They knew from the beginning though, that this was a possibility. They understand what happened. They're just disappointed. While a Lampy is leaving the court free of the two most serious charges, she's leaving still guilty of DWI and operating a vehicle intoxicated. In a situation like this, where there has been a tragic loss and where there are explanations for it, what you really hope for is a verdict that everybody can live with. Shortly after the verdict was read, we spoke with Robert Bavard's mother, who was clearly disappointed about the outcome of the trial. It was very difficult and heartbreaking, but I had to do it for Robert. My feeling is if he had to experience all these horrible things, the least I could do is listen to them. Overall, she said the night of December 13th, 2013 was a tragedy for not only the Bavard family, but also the Alampi family. I hope that the defendant will use this experience to start thinking about other people more than herself and how her actions affect other people. As the Lampy walks past the family, they make eye contact and Alampi apologizes. Alampi will be sentenced in court on April 3rd. For now reporting in Syracuse, I'm Sarah Beth Ackerman.